Let's have a closer look. The microphone comes well packaged in this box and we get a few goodies that you wanna pay attention to. For example, we have an included wind muff. We have a regular hot shoe mount so you can easily attach it to your camera. And we have a boom mount so you can attach it to any boom stand or boom pole. And of course, we have the microphone. We'll talk more about the mic in just a second. On the lower level of the box, we have two different cables. We have an XLR to XLR, and we have an XLR to 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack cable. We also have a carrying pouch and our warranty information. When it comes down to the microphone itself, it's made out of metal, aluminum to be exact. None of it is plastic except for the low pass filter switch. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. Okay, so right now I'm about six feet away from the microphone. I haven't increased my tone or voice at all. So right now I'm just babbling, all right? So just get used to uh, listening to my voice through these two microphones. I'm gonna back up even farther. I'm about 10 feet away from the microphones, speaking at the same exact volume. We're gonna do one more test before we close out this video. And instead of using my Zoom H6 to record the sound, guys, so right now we're listening to the Komika VP2 microphone. Same story as before. It's directly hooked up to my Sony A9 using the preamp in the Sony A9 and in the microphone itself. And don't forget to let me know what you thought about this microphone in the comment section as well.